what's up everyone Nick here with my review for Batman 51 which is the final issue that Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo are working on together. Now this issue is kind of like a love letter to their entire run as a whole as it is called Gotham is dot 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 where basically we're trying to fill in the whole issue. Batman does not have any narration throughout this issue it's actually kind of a text like a Times and Roman sort of text that's laid over the issue and we find out later on that that's actually someone in the story. Now basically the premise for this issue is that there's been a blackout across the city even though it seems like a quiet night so far. Alfred and Bruce are kind of just hanging out at the cave and something goes wrong so Bruce goes out to figure out what it is. Now when he goes to find Jim Gordon on a rooftop with the bat signal it turns out that Arkham Asylum has been unleashed since the power grid went out and all of the cells have been opened up so he heads over to Arkham Asylum but it turns out that they have new state-of-the-art technology that can counteract against power outages using a different type of energy software. Shortly after this, we see that the Court of Owls is actually plotting an attack underground, however, the High Council of Owls decide not to do this, even though a lot of them are kind of overzealous and want to attack while the city is weak and the power is out and Batman is nowhere to be seen. We get to see a little more glimpses of this as well as different crime bosses like the Penguin, Black Mask, his kind of Penguin Ice Lounge, and even the Joker, who is not necessarily the Joker at this point, but he's just kind of like that guy that's sitting on the bench, they all are kind of thinking about plotting against the city tonight since the power is out, but they say no, not enough time, not tonight, but soon. So all the while Gotham is still looking for the man who had caused this power outage and he stumbles across a guy in the Gotham Gazette building who actually turns out to be a former criminal turned writer for the Gotham column and he's actually the guy that writes the Gotham Is column, which is what this narration has been the entire issue, we find out. So I thought that was a kind of meta-textual way to bring together this whole story storyline and actually you figure out that nothing is really wrong with the city tonight and that Bruce should kind of look for the good in people as this guy has. This guy used to be a former criminal working for a gang when Bruce put him away and he was 16 years old. He kind of reformed his life and this whole narration with the Gotham column is just sort of talking about that Batman is not really looking at the good in people and that he should be because throughout the past few months the city has been looking a lot lighter now that he's been active and stuff so I thought it was a really cool way to kind of end the whole series on this note that like in the end Gotham is always Batman like it always will be because throughout the issue it's like Gotham is something something Gotham is this Gotham is that but in the end Gotham is Batman and I thought it was just like a, a great way to end the series like I said and a fitting end for Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo's last run. I mean, obviously they've had a pretty big run on the character over the past five years, you know, launching it with the New 52, going through all these different storylines, the Court of Owls, Death of the Family, Endgame, the Super Heavy, they retold the origin zero year over a whole year long event, and you know, it's just like a fitting end to their sort of bat saga. So I'm gonna give this issue a nine out of 10. I thoroughly enjoyed it, even though I've been kind of talking crap about Scott Snyder's, you know, super heavy stuff with Jim Gordon being kind of boring, but I I thought this was just a great way to go out with something kind of talking about their whole run in general. So anyways, if you guys got a chance to check this book out, let me know what you guys thought down below and are you going to be sad to see Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo leaving the title as we welcome on Tom King and David Finch? Post your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure to go check out Batman 51 in comic stores today. My name is Nick and I will catch you guys next time.